Include model is a QC command which allows your model to copy animations from another model as long as that specified model exists. It is mostly used for player models and NPCs so that mesh and animation are separated. But it can also be used to have your custom view model use the animation set of another view model without recompiling animations, which is what you will learn today. I use this animation set by Shikinami Cat, also known as Inter on YouTube. You might notice that the animations are for the pistol. I'm using it on the Deagle, which is compatible. Before we start, you should know that for this entire trick to work, your new model must have the same general shape as the one with the animation you want to use. Otherwise, during animations, the hands will not be where it should, mostly magazine and bolts during reload animations. But it works nicely on pistols, since they usually have the same shape. If your model does not match, you will have to fix the animations manually, make new ones or ignore it and have it look bad. Another thing is that if you use animations across other models like I do, the animation itself must match your model. If the sequence order, frame rate or amount of frames don't match, you cannot use include model. In such cases, you will need to recompile all animations in modified order and with modified frame rate. Anyhow, the first step is to decompile the model carrying your desired animations. Make sure you have QC file, bone animation SMD files, and declare sequence selected. Whilst you are handling that original model, you should also copy it into your custom content folder within the game and change its prefix letter from V to A as a reminder that this is not the view model, but the animation model. You will need that model later for testing and then shipping your mod. Don't forget it. Import the decompiled model and your replacement into Blender. Position your gun to match location and scale with the include model gun. Rig your gun to the same bones. You can select the imported gun mesh in weight paint mode and browse through the bones on the right hand side. Whatever mesh turns red is rigged to the selected bone. There is a bone for shell ejection which I do not want to use. Later I modify the sequence to add a shell ejection, but don't worry about that yet. You might also have attachment location bones for muscle flash, flashlight and maybe shell ejection. Don't bother moving those, since the animation will override their location again. On this gun I shouldn't rig the hammer, because the location doesn't match up with the bone and it'll end up looking strange. I would need to modify all animations to put the bone in the correct place, but then I wouldn't be using the include model way anymore, so I'm not going to show it in here. After rigging, export the model. Modify the QC file to your liking. In my case, the model name is changed from Pistol A to Desert Eagle. I will also add a second model name line to compile to a different folder just so I can open that model in HLMV. Swap the body group for the new model. Add mostly opaque. Swap the CD materials lines. And now the magic happens. Scroll down to where the animation lines are and add a include model, followed by the location of the modified model, which is v underscore slash a underscore pistol a dot mdl. This will tell the game to copy the animations from that a pistol a model if it is found. Then comment out all animation lines, as we won't be needing those yet. Now compile the model for HLMV and test if the animations work. As you can see, I have animations. But as soon as I delete the A-Pistol model, the animations go away on my model. 
while in HLMV also move the attachments to where they need to be. Don't forget to copy that QC line into your QC file. Now all you have to do is compile it for the game and test it. Copy your model files and the renamed MDL file into your mod VPK and put it into your game. The animations work, but as you can see, since I did not rig a shell to the shell ejection bone, no shell ejection is happening on this gun. So, I will have to modify the firing sequence, which I will do now. I already added the required attachments to it earlier, so all I have to do is add the shell ejection event to the sequence. You could, instead of adding a particle like me, use the following information to fix an animation or replace it entirely, if you knew how to animate. To modify animations whilst using include model, go back to your QC file and underneath the include model line, add a include followed by the name and extension of that declare sequence QCI file. That QCI file is listing all sequences in their order. I want to modify the fire layer and fire last layer animations. So I will comment out the declare sequence lines referencing those two animations. Since we still have the sequence lines in our QC file, you can search for the relevant sequence lines in there and copy them under their respective declare sequence lines. Be sure to have them in the right place, otherwise the sequence order will be changed, which causes the animations to be mismatched in online games. For example, you might end up seeing the melee bash animation when reloading or vice versa. All I have to do is to add the event lines for the shell ejection, which I will just copy from a file of mine. Like I said earlier, you could use this to swap the sequence SMD for another. After modifying the QC file to read our declare sequence, and after modifying this declare sequence, we can compile the model and test in game. Et voila! As you can see, I now do have shell ejections. That covers everything about include model. I hope this was clear enough for you. If not, feel free to join the dead for mods Discord server in which I and other people will help you out some more. I also have my own Discord server if you wanna hop in and write back out again. Links to both are in the description on YouTube or underneath this video on the Steam Guide page. Happy modding! See you next time!